Hi guys and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking. In 2021 we're bringing the return of Zack Schneider to the comic book movie genre. It will also bring the real incarnation of Justice League. It will also bring the real incarnation of how Ezra Miller, how Zack Schneider wanted to portray The Flash. And that's what I'm really interested for. Ezra Miller gets a lot of shit for his performance in 2017 but that film was absolutely butchered. Seemingly production was a nightmare after Zack Schneider left with Jeff Johns, with John Berg, with Josh Whedon. So the characters, the actors didn't even want to be there. You can see it in Ezra Miller's acting you could see it maybe in Riff Fisher's acting and a lot of stuff is starting to come out about that production even more and I can't really judge Ezra Miller's performance as the Flash because I can't say it's bad I can't say it's good I can't say it's indifferent because it's not the real incarnation that was supposed to be seen by us in 2017 it's not Zack Schneider's vision so when we actually do get to see the film in 2021 then I can give a real opinion of how I think he performed as the Flash he was cast as uh, the Flash because of that film The Perks of Being a Wallflower uh, Zack Schneider has said this before and he's really really interested and he loves Ezra Miller as an actor so I can't wait to see Ezra's um, real incarnation of this character because he really is a talented actor but also there's been very little discussion about him as Flash remember Zach did that interview with Grace Randolph a few weeks ago and Ezra Miller was the only one that was not mentioned also that video of him choking a girl or whatever way the, 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 that video was filmed the context of it I don't know exactly but it looked bad on his part and yeah that kind of was um not really talked about as much then and Ezra Miller hasn't really been talked about either now the Flash film was supposed to come out in 2022 and I'm excited for that and I can't wait but our first real look would be in 2021 at Zack Schneider's Just League but there has been talks and rumours that Ezra Miller could be ca- recast as the Flash over some certain stuff that's going to come out about him in his um personal life and maybe there's more stuff like that video to come out I don't know exactly that video looked bad in his part but he's kept kind of his head down low since then so it'll be interesting going forward if they're actually going to recast Ezra Miller as the Flash I hope they keep him well I hope he's a good actor and I'm sure he does a good job in 2021 but also he seems to be a big part for the DC going forward especially if Mikey Keaton is going to come back to portray Batman if he's going to go through time we've already seen him appear in the CW and interact with the Flash there so there's so many possibilities of having Flash as the as the one of the main characters in DC you can really do so much more with that character but will it be Ezra Miller going forward we do not know yet but at the minute, he's the star in 2022. Andy Muschietti directed Flash solo film. He also did uh, It Chapter 1 and It Chapter 2, two very good films. And I'm looking forward to seeing another horror director come to the comic book movie genre in terms of DC and give us something special, unique, and just something different to look at in the comic book movie genre. But Andy Muschietti recently talked a little bit about the Flash solo film, and this is what he had to say. It is a story of time travel. Flash travels back to try to save his mother. It is a spectacular action movie, but it has a big heart. So we already kind of knew that he's going to travel through time because if Michael Keaton is supposed to be in the film and they're going to do elements of the Flashpoint storyline, then of course he's going to have to travel through time. But also, it hasn't been confirmed, but it's highly likely that that Ray Fisher will appear as Cyborg in the film. And if you remember when he appeared on the CW show, he referenced uh, Victor Stone, which is Cyborg, about the time travel element. So that's already a given. But... Travel to time, we know this, to save his mother. This has already been done, of course, in the comic books movie, but also in the TV show from the CW, where he's tried to go back and save his mother, and it doesn't really work out that well. He kind of changes elements of his own world, and he doesn't like it whatsoever. And the best thing is actually letting his mother die and letting him live the life that he's already lived. But it said, also here's something I find interesting, is a spectacular action movie, but has a big heart. What I'm really looking forward to in the Flash solo film is how they do the time travel how they explain the time travel and how it looks with Ezra Miller's character kind of running through time or just running at super speed because in the Justice League film I it's kind of not really that interesting maybe some of that Zack Snyder's scenes I don't know yet the way he runs and the way they just it's the way it's done through time I don't know but I also like how they keep that element of um lighting uh, in the DC world you know Shazam's lighting is very similar to the Flash when he's running and stuff like that so I like that element that's kept going so far maybe and maybe Andy Schmitty will change it up a little bit I don't know but it has a big heart this film and I would expect this film to have big heart if he's trying to go back to save his mother he's dealing with that struggle of the loss of his mother and mothers and parents are a big thing in the DC universe created by Zack, by Zack Schneider Batman's parents Superman's parents Aquaman's parents Cyborg's parents and now the Flash's parents so 
this will be interesting to see going forward if Ezra Miller will be in the role and how they are going to do this. I suspect Billy Kudrup, who played um, Dr. Manhattan in the Watchmen film in 2009, will come back as Barry's father. He is Barry's father in Zack Schneider's Justice League. Who will play his mother? I do not know. Jeffrey Dean Morgan doesn't seem to be coming back to the role either. Michael Keaton seems to be that flashpoint Batman that they're going to go with going forward. But I hope Jeffrey Dean Morgan appears in Zack Schneider's vision going forward. Hopefully in some capacity if Zack gets to come back, he'll get to bring him back also and do his own kind of version of Flashpoint with Ezra Miller in some capacity. But this film is full of heart, spectacular action and he travels to time. Those are the elements of the script that we know so far with Victor Stone, with Ray Fisher coming into that story somehow and Michael Keaton coming back. So those are all the things that we know about the Flash film going forward. But the big question for me, is Ezra Miller going to be cast? Is he going to be the main guy? Is he going to be the Flash going forward? We'll have to wait how and what happens going forward. We'll have to see how Zack Snyder's Just League is received. And if there's high praise for Ezra Miller in the role, I think he will come back. And them using him in the CW at the start of the year, I think was a big win for me that he will be the Flash going forward but we'll have to see guys let me know your thoughts on Andy Machete the director of The Flash and his thoughts on The Flash solo film and what it's going to entail let me know are you excited can you not wait for 2021 can you not wait for 2022 let me know give a like comment subscribe come follow me on all the social medias and always remember guys Ezra Miller is The Flash in Zack Schneider's Justice League